I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with the Tropical Update on the Saturday afternoon, August 3rd. Tropical Depression 4 has now strengthened into Tropical Storm Debbie as of the 4 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. It's moving to the northwest at 15 miles per hour with maximum winds at 40 miles per hour now. And you'll notice over the next couple of days, it will quickly strengthen. It's over very favorable conditions in the Gulf of Mexico. So it'll move to the northwest, then north, then northeast before likely making landfall as a category one hurricane along the big bend of Florida. Anywhere between Apalachicola and Cedar Key, Florida are included in this cone. But again, we still could see some small changes with this cone and the cone only shows where the center of the storm will move. Impacts will still be felt far outside of the cone. After it makes landfall, it will weaken, but it's expected to kind of waver back and forth. And there's a lot of uncertainty with this track because it's in between two upper level highs. So there's not a whole lot of steering for the system to just move out of the area. And that's a big concern because a lot of heavy rainfall will likely fall over parts of uh, the northern part of the peninsula of Florida, also parts of the Georgia and South Carolina coastline and even areas inland as well. And I'll show you those impacts here in a second. But first, let's take a look at these tropical alerts. There are some new ones. There's a hurricane warning now in place for areas, again, from around Apalachicola, all the way to areas like Cedar Key included in that hurricane watch. But again, hurricane warning means that hurricane conditions are expected within the next 48 hours. So be mindful of that if you're in that area. Again, that's a category one hurricane expected at landfall. Then tropical storm warnings issued for much of the west coast of Florida and tropical storm watches for areas just a little bit further inland. Also a tropical storm warning issued for areas just west of that hurricane warning. So areas like Port St. Joe included in that tropical storm warning. There's also a big flood threat with this system. Moderate flooding expected across much of Florida. We can still see changes with that. Major flooding over many parts of northern areas in the peninsula of Florida, also along the Georgia, South Carolina coastline, as a lot of heavy rainfall is dumped over those areas. So be mindful of that. Rainfall potential as high as 10 inches for some of those areas, especially, again, that main path of that tropical system. Also, even areas to the south over Tampa, Cape Coral, around five inches of rain, and you can kind of see how this swath moves inland. A whole lot of rainfall over parts of Georgia, South Carolina, and even parts of North Carolina like Wilmington, North Carolina, expected around 10 inches of rain. Some isolated spots could be even higher as the system stalls. Storm surge could get greater than three feet for some areas along the west coast of Florida and parts of the Big Bend. Other areas seeing around one foot or a little bit greater in those areas along the southern parts and southern and western parts of the Florida coast and also the Georgia and South Carolina coastline as well in areas like Jacksonville. Also, there's a tornado threat. A few tornadoes are, are possible, especially on that east side of this system along parts of Florida and on the Georgia and South Carolina coastlines. And of course, we are expecting that wind threat with tropical storm force winds expected across much of the areas included in that cone and outside of the cone. So overall, here are the key takeaways with tropical storm Debbie. It's now in the southeastern Gulf and it's going to con continue to strengthen today. We could see it become even stronger, strengthening to a category one hurricane prior to making landfall. Remember that we can always see changes with this track. It could waver back and forth. So always stay tuned to the latest updates. Here in our stretch of the Gulf Coast, the News 5 viewing area, mainly an increased risk for rip currents, rip current risk staying moderate through next week. Again, we'll have all the latest updates on WKRG.com and you can view the latest track in the Hurricane Map Room.